Good morning, good morning. I hope you guys are having a fabulous start to your Friday and just jumping on to do a quick video about overcoming your fear. And uh, this is a big one um, and it may surprise you to hear. It's also a really, really big one for me as well. And uh, in the past and uh, even currently, um, sometimes I still get like overly anxious. Um, sometimes it can be related to hormones, sometimes it can be related to just drinking too much coffee, um, sometimes it can be related to like it's so many different things. Good morning Sal and Pam, hello darling, how are you? It's good to have you guys on here, lots of love to you all and who else have I got jumping on? Miss Kate, hello darling, sorry I haven't got my glasses on either and my eyes are all fuzzy. <laughs> so um Overcoming fear or dancing with fear, um, it can be one of those things that, uh, you know, obviously like fear can really block us at times as well. And even this morning, sometimes um, I still get anxious, like jumping on and doing a live video. It's really kind of funny. Other times I'm like so comfortable, um, but it just depends on what's going on internally. And you might find that as well. Sometimes you feel really comfortable doing things or talking to people or um, in social situations. Other times you might feel like really just antsy or not okay. Um, and this can be obviously due to like a number of things as well. Good morning, Christy. It's great to have you on, honey. Uh, good morning, Sandra. Lots of love to you all, guys. And um, so I noticed some big fear for me coming up yesterday. I'm actually away on holidays at the moment and um, I've had to uh, just find another gym to also work out. And I went to go in there and there's like cars. The car park was like absolutely chockers. And I like literally got in my car and I like I drove away and I drove like a hundred meters away, <laughs> totally overthinking the whole thing, just going, no, it's gonna be packed and don't wanna be in there then and everything else, it's a different gym. and. So it had all these thoughts and I think at times, you know, we can really start to overthink things, we can start to block ourselves, we can start to just hold back and contract and you'll know if you're contracting because your body will feel tense, you'll feel tight in your body, you won't feel good uh, and of course we'll have, you know, all of those standard feelings of fear come up uh, which doesn't feel good as well like it feels quite constricting for the body sorry about the noise guys um, I was trying to find a kind of a, a cool place to hang out this morning but I may have picked a busy road <laughs> uh, it is a gorgeous kind of park I don't know whether you guys can kind of see behind me but yeah it, it is actually quite a gorgeous sitting behind me um, but yeah, definitely, like the, that fear can kind of come up, the heart can race, you know, we can feel a bit shaky inside or just um, just unsettled kind of within ourselves as well. And there's quite a lot that goes into um, obviously overcoming anxiety. And I really wanted to speak about um, obviously like a good, really good gut health because this is a huge impact. And if our body's not producing the amount of serotonin that it actually needs in order to feel good, um, then that can really impact on that stress cycle. And of course, the more stress that we feel, um, the more that impacts our gut health and our gut function and the amount of um, healthy bacteria and healthy microbiome in our body. And then of course, um, if that's not healthy, then we're not producing the amount of serotonin that we need. And it keeps going on in this ongoing cycle and it's a lot, um, you know, IBS and inflammation in the body uh, certainly comes back to that. And if anybody suffers from IBS or has IBS kind of like related symptoms like lots of bloating um, and, and that anxious belly you'll know exactly kind of what I'm talking about like cutting out gluten cutting out dairy cutting out processed sugars all those things will certainly help and whatever you can do to improve your gut health so um, probiotics um, slippery elm is another really really great one as well that can really just help to soothe um, and settle that mucosal layer and just improve the gut function but of course like getting in those really good whole foods as well like feeding the body the right food because it's actually the microbiome on the fruits and veggies actually that feed um feed that uh, really good bacteria as well and keeps that nice health gut balance um, and this is so important obviously for that um, for overcoming anxiety um, obviously you know there's negative thoughts that can kind of play into that and being able to regulate your own thoughts and your own emotions to not believe everything you think um, or to not believe everything you believe as well actually can be a really helpful thing at times um, hey Simone hey uh, I think it's uh, uh, Linnell, sorry, I was going to say Lydia. Um, lovely to have you guys on here. Um, 
So doing whatever that you can definitely to improve your gut health will also automatically help to improve your serotonin levels. 95% of the serotonin we make in the body is actually made in the digestive tract, so it's really, really important. 50% uh, of the dopamine that you actually have is also made in your digestive tract, so that can be like a huge, huge kind of thing. Um, I know also for hormonally for me, just depending on where my cycle is at, I do happen to have um, a couple of heightened days um, that used to really unravel me. I and it wasn't until I really started tracking kind of where my cycle was up to that now it's kind of um, predictable and it's not that I'm expecting to feel that way but when it happens it's kind of like oh okay yeah that's just where it's at and it helps me just to feel like a little bit calmer within myself as well so for any of you that um, you know come up against those challenges or um, have experienced that you'll know um, that you know when we can just be really kind and gentle on ourselves. and I'm just I'm so excited because I actually work with with a trainer um, that actually really works in with our cycles uh, and not overdoing it, not over pushing yourself in those um, times or in that particular part of your cycle is really, really, really important as well. So um, it, it does make a huge difference too. Hey Bev, great to have you on. Um, so the other couple of things that really make a difference to overcoming fear is make fear your friend and I know that might sound like really difficult or really challenging to do but when we actually embrace fear and go hey thanks for showing up thanks for trying to protect me um, it's all good I've got it covered you know we in it's in the acknowledgement of it it's not through the anything that we resist will just grow stronger or um, kind of persist like that I mean Tony Robbins said it perfectly with what we resist persists because we're pushing against we're creating resistance against not wanting to feel that way um, and any feeling will always um, you know I guess expand when we're actually not just fully embracing it our feelings really can be like clouds just passing through us where we feel it and just go oh yep I feel that way it's in the acknowledgement it's in the um, that helps us to accept it and to um, embrace it and it's in the embracing of it that we generally transcend it as well and any feeling if you're actually allowing yourself to feel it fully your body actually can't stay in that state forever um, it needs to change and I think that that's really really helpful to know as well because when we feel like our bodies actually um, uh, you know it's like sometimes if we're resisting a feeling or resisting an emotion we we end up in that emotion for a long time I know I certainly um, felt that way as well uh, just in terms of um, resisting anger or resisting grief res resisting sadness and in the moment where I actually allow myself to embrace that emotion to feel what I'm feeling then it changes the whole game for me and I can move on from that emotion pretty quick and fear is actually no different it's just really allowing yourself to feel Feel that fear to embrace it acknowledge it and just go yeah I am feeling scared okay cool um, what else can I do to still move forward and it's in the um, it's in the overcoming of fear I think that you truly feel amazing I know for myself even this morning like I said sometimes I do get a little bit anxious before I get on and do a live video and it's like no I'm doing this thing like come on like let's go um, and it's it's in that firm decision of showing up and getting to choose or choosing who you're going to be in that moment regardless of whether the fear is there or not and honestly it's what's helped me just a little step by little step be able to face bigger and bigger fears to have more and more courage um, in stepping out and you know like potentially making a fool of myself or potentially getting things wrong or like any of that stuff it's so important just to do it little step by little step by little step and um, then also having enough self-love so the other thing that helps us overcome fear and anxiety obviously love is the opposite of fear or love is anything that um, or you know um, fear is anything unlike love so when when, um, when we're embracing more of the things why things are really important so why is it important for us to do that thing or why do we really want to that's helping us focus more on what we love and what we appreciate and what we're wanting to bring into our life as opposed to what could go wrong what people might think you know all of those things I think we can all have those experiences at time as well at times hi Shell hey Jess great to have you guys on 
grasp. So um, definitely get back into your heart by asking yourself, well, why do I want to do this? And I know for me, um, you know, the videos are, are sometimes like just really great for actually reinforcing something for myself um, after time. You know, it's, it's like I'm giving myself the message. Um, it, sorry, you know, it's not necessarily me, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I love if you guys can also get out of it. And it was why I started my whole business because I thought if I'm just helping one person and that one person is me, um, so it did come from that place initially simply because it needed to because if I'm depending on um, or wanting you know everybody else to say oh my god oh this is awesome or that's awesome and you know you might be able to relate to that in your own life as well good morning Tim hello darling uh, it's great to have you on here um, you know all of those things can really um, impact us as well and now I've lost my train of thought <laughs> But um, when we're overcoming fear, it, it really is about coming back into our heart center, figuring out what is your why, uh, what's most important to you, and really being able to move forward, focusing on that rather than what could go wrong or what other people might think. Um, that's been the biggest difference for me, and I, I know like there's been all sorts of different stages for me um, with everything that I've kind of worked towards, whether it's my body, whether it's relationships, whether it's um, my business, whether it's creating more money whether it's like creating a holiday there's always that feeling of like oh my god but what if I can't do it and and we've got to move ourselves into that position of belief as well and uh, I have some really cool processes that really help people to nail um, all of those fears and to be able to um, I guess like rinse and repeat on any other life area or any other goal that you're wanting to work on and I'll be sharing all of that in my authentic happiness intensive program and that's on the 8th and 9th of February and I'm so pumped I'm so excited to be able to deliver these tools these are the tools that I use like literally every single day to get me back into my heart center uh, and to be able to really focus on what's most important to me take that time out for myself uh, and work towards my goals as well which is so so super important important so lots of love to you all I will need to run because I do actually have another coach call now um, hey Lisa great to have you on honey uh, if you've just jumped on you may want to jump back to the start of the video and uh, hopefully you can grab some tips in there um, check out the Byron Katie work which is just www.thework.com I know I always uh, speak about it but I could not offer you guys a more powerful solution to overcoming your negative thoughts and not believing what you believe um, it's a, such a great way of of just really really transforming um, the way that we're feeling and the way that we're thinking about things as well so lots of love to you all have an amazing day catch you guys later bye